do you want to be on the other side of this crisis? You see, no matter your age, your income, your geography, your occupation, your life radically changed in March of 2020. And with that change came a shakeup in, in your sense of normalcy, in everything that you were doing, feeling, thinking. And there's a silver lining in that. If you know how to look for it, and if you can develop a plan to take advantage of this time. Let me ask you a question. Are you using this time just to get to the other side, just to get to some kind of new normalcy? Or are you using this time as a gift to really come up with a plan consciously to think about who is it that I really wanna be? You see, everything's still uncertain. However, this is a good thing because this is shakeup time. This is time for us to take advantage and come up with a plan. Aristotle says that 95% of everything that we do is a habit. So you think about it. All of the, the ways that we're spending our time, all the ways that we're spending our money, all the, the health choices that we're making, even our thoughts, our thoughts of saying, oh, I'm going to say no to this or I'm going to say yes to this, so often are out of habits, habitual thinking, habitual actions. And there are so many habits that don't serve us well that we don't even think about because we're on autopilot. Well, autopilot has paused. And so how do you do that? How do you come up with a new plan for your life to actually implement who you wanna be? Well, for me, it's all about taking inventory. Take an inventory of the, the traits that I wanna be known for, the traits that I really desire the traits and skills that I want to be known for being skilled at. And so the way that I start is I think about bringing to awareness all of the habits that I had before this crisis, all of the habits that don't serve me well at this time. And some of them, some of them are, are good habits, but they're not going to serve me well on the other side of who I really want to be. So taking those habits captive and then coming up with a plan of the traits that I want to be, do, and have and what habits are going to help support and strengthen those for the person that I want to be on the other side. You see, Pat John Dryden said that first we make our habits and then our habits make us. Once you know that and you can be self-aware of what habits have not served you in the past, develop a plan of what new ones to start practicing, and now's the time to do that, you're going to hold a secret key to massively change your life.